we might be reaching a tipping point where AI might start stealing some jobs from freelancers. Does this scare you? Without any context, probably should scare you. But is AI really going to replace us? Are we going to actually turn to AI for all of our graphic design? What about our writing, stories, emails, sales copy? What about customer service? Can AI replace all of our virtual assistants? What about our customer service reps? What about call centers? What is the full potential of artificial intelligence? And will we humans take AI up on its full potential, potentially putting millions of people out of work? Admittedly, it does sound kind of bleak and, and it is bleak and that's the topic of this video. Considerations about what you might want to think about to help you, me, all of us avoid becoming redundant at the hands of AI. So first we really got to think about just why it's so scary to think about AI in this way. Well, the most obvious reason is money. Most of us do tasks that make us money and these seem to be the tasks that our AI overlords have their sights set on. At least that's what their sights seem to be set on right now. So far it's creative things. Things like writing, design, art, stuff like that. Over the last couple months, that's been the stuff that AI has been spinning out that's been putting a lot, of, a lot of people on edge that it might replace some jobs. But it's also been kind of stepping into the realm of more human stuff too. Things like customer service. AI chatbots have already been around for a while and it's putting a lot of people in jeopardy. And, and that's all you know, really a hopeless feeling. If AI starts taking over a lot of the jobs we are currently doing for money, you kind of feel hopeless that that's gonna happen. And if that happens, who ends up making all this money? Honestly, it's probably gonna be large corporations who own these AI tools and charge fees for people to be able to use these tools. And honestly, that doesn't really sound like a world that a lot of people wanna live in. So what do we do? Well, first, I think there's a really important consideration that we all need to think about that really softens the landing here. AI is not human and it'll never be human. And that really matters. When you think of all the AI tools already out there, chat GPT, some of the artistic ones that design visuals, they're really good at taking input and spitting something out. But the thing that they're spitting out is based on stuff that's already out there. There's really not much nuance in what it's doing. And this is important because some of the best things that come out of art forms like writing or painting uh, are beautiful and appreciated because of the nuance that came with the human experience that the person who created it put into it while creating it. The nuance that comes from being a human and having emotions and having that drive us. Desires, curiosities, wants, fears, needs, that's all you know specific to us. AI tools can't replicate that. When you're injecting things like that, emotions like that into your work as a human, you're doing something that helps you connect with other humans, other people. And that's something AI is not really, I don't think ever gonna be able to do as good as us. And this brings us to probably the most important part of this video, the most important thing that might help you stop your business from getting wiped out by the machines. So hit pause, rewind, and rewatch it if you need to. If you want to survive the AI apocalypse as a freelancer, a creator, someone like that, you need to be injecting this nuance that comes from your experience as a human to differentiate yourself. And what that means is things like not just churning out work as quickly as possible to make a quick buck. It means pulling from your life experiences when you're doing your work, adding emotion, feeling that will connect with your clients and help them connect with their clients. Basically, you got to avoid creating the lifeless type of content that AI is so good at creating. You, yes, you, the person watching this video, you are the secret sauce that will ultimately help you differentiate from AI tools. It's you. So when you're working and doing stuff 
if you don't want to be redundant or made redundant by, by AI, you need to inject you, your emotion, and things that you know are important to your clients in the work that you're churning out for them. And that will help you differentiate from artificial intelligence. So really think about this because this advice isn't just going to help you compete against AI. Honestly, if you're already someone who's already having trouble competing against your human competition, use this as the wake up call that's going to be most helpful for your business. Successful freelancers or creatives are people who obsess over providing their clients value. So in the face of this AI apocalypse, especially in the creative space, your value comes from you, your experiences, your life lessons that you've already learned, mistakes you've made, your understanding of the people you're working with, emotion, and the things that drive each and every one of us as people. Try to tap into those things anytime you're working with someone freelance or creating something. Tap into that, tap into what makes you, you. That's gonna help you differentiate and really provide value that a machine just can't. Not only machines though, your novice human competition, they probably can't do that either, at least not well. But the thing is, you're all capable of it. So if you get ahead of the curve, start injecting a little bit of your humanity, yourself, your experience, your emotion into your work and focus on providing value for people, you're probably gonna be just fine. And honestly, if you made it this far in the video and you're like, this guy's totally whacked out, this is so ambiguous, that could be a good thing. It means you're human, it means you haven't thought of this before, and it means you have work to do and room to improve. Thanks so much for watching, good luck, I think we're all gonna be okay. Till next time, cheers.